Hello guys, welcome to this new series which is called Let's Remake. Which I basically remake um, levels and environments from different games. At least those that I can. Uh, it's, a, it's a new series and I hope that I can make more of it. So, for the first uh, environment and level design, I, I chose a level design, a, a level from Tekken 7 called Infinite Azure or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've got some screenshots for you. Here is the level uh, without the characters inside the game, which, as you can see, is a very basic. Very uh, simple, so I thought let's uh, start off with something easy. So in this part, I'm just trying to recreate the landscape and the material. And the landscape is a uh, is really, to be honest, it's really cool. Uh, oh, by the way, if you don't know, Un uh, Tekken Seven is also made in Unreal Engine. So yeah, right now we are going to use Unreal Engine. So that's cool. Here is a another texture, a directly. Uh, Camera is, camera is directly uh, is facing directly to the landscape. As you can see, beneath the water is a kind of cracked soil, something like that, as you can see, which uh, was kind of, uh, to be honest, a really fun challenge to you know how to add a layer of water on top of that uh, main material, which uh, I'm going to show you right now. So let's get back to our uh, project. As you can see, we uh, have a, a yeah, we have a empty project. I just uh, made this one for the sake of the uh, tutorial. I'm going to get rid of these uh, unnecessary assets. Delete these and go to the um, skylight. Make it movable, just uh, as well as the light source. It needs to be movable. So. As a, uh, as we, let's get back to the uh, screenshot. As you can see, it's a basically flat landscape with mountains in the background. So, what we need to do is to go to the uh, modes, landscape, and yeah. So, now we have the options right here. All we have to do is to click on the fill wall. Yeah, that. And then uh, click on create. We just it should create real fast to be honest. There's nothing much. It, it just fill the world. Or uh, yeah. Okay. So now what we have to do is to make material. Now we don't need to sculpt anything uh, at least for now. So just uh, come back, uh, close that that tab. Let's let's make a new folder. Let's call it um, landscape. Land let's go to here okay so first thing first uh, we need to make the cracked soil as you saw in the in the picture so you have two options to do uh, to make that material number one is to go to any website anywhere that you know for example textures that come that I recommend go to this section soil cracked soil and here you have basically tons of options to choose for your material what I did, I just uh, basically grabbed the first one. I downloaded the medium size. You can go with a small one, and I basically just generated the roughness and normal and different kind of maps out of this single picture. You can use a uh, different uh, software for to do that. For example, Substance Designer or B2M3 Bitmap Material Three, or even free alternatives. For example. X normal or normalize these are softwares I'll put the link down in the description if you want to check them out and uh, generate the maps for yourself the second way to do it is to uh, basically go to Substance Designer and make it from scratch make it fully procedural pro procedural yeah <laughs> procedural if you like to it really doesn't matter to be honest so uh, oh, so I close it Oh, let's go to select section. Okay, so I uh, oh, let me find the material. 
cracked soil. So I just went to take the picture to the Substance Designer and uh, generated uh, basically a couple of maps out of it. Let's import it here. Still importing, yeah. So all we need is roughness, the actual base color, uh, ambient occlusion, and normal map. You can, I think, I'm not sure, I think uh, ambient occlusion isn't necessary. But anyways, so now that we have our textures, all we have to do is to right click, go to um, here, material and textures, and uh, oh, uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to uh, do something very important. You have to go to, uh, before we uh, make our material, we have to go to the project settings and search for ma material layer. Yeah, support material layers. All you have to do is to click on it and let it restart. So I, I'll be back after it's restart and save everything if you want. So we're back. As you can see, nothing's changed. At least it seems nothing changed. All we have to do is right click, go to the material and texture and click on material layer. Now we have to name it. I'll name it M underline. Uh, Line soil line layer. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, so let's open it up, and you're basically going to see these weird nodes. Uh, it doesn't matter, to be honest. Don't worry about them. So we'll import our textures into this material layer. Uh, separate them. Okay, it's base color. Which one is it? It's the ambient occlusion, roughness, normal map. So it seems that there is nothing to hook this texture up. So all you have to do is right click and search for make material attributes. And you'll get this. So connect this to uh, this node. Base color to base color. Roughness to roughness. Normal to normal, and last but not least, ambient AO to AO. So we're done basically. That, that that's it. That's all. Really easy. Let's apply it. Go back. So basically, we've just done our our uh, cracked soil material. Now we have to make the water material. The fun part. Okay. So I uh oh, oh yeah okay. Make sure to make everything uh, really clean and uh, not messy just like me. I'm going to make another uh, folder for it just to make everything cleaner. I'm going to call uh, I don't know, cracked soil. Basically uh, move everything to here. Let it move. Okay, let's make new matter new folder, I'm sorry. Let's call it water. Simple. Let's go to the water folder. Okay, so about water, all you need is just, oh, what happened? Um, <laughs> let me find the texture. Oh, okay, yeah. All you need is just a simple normal map. That's it. That's all. You don't even need the actual color. You, uh, I recommend you to go to textures.com again. The actual water. Uh, you'll see this watermelon and the. Uh, Irrelevant thing. Go back and you can find some uh, cool looking waters, you know? So, again, just like the cracked soil, uh, take one of them, generate the uh, normal map, and that's it. So, now we have our normal map. What should we do? Again, just like the cracked, uh, cracked soil material, we're going to add another material layer, call it um, M underline water layer okay so so far so good let's uh import our texture into the material again let's make make material attributes we need we need a base color in color for our water hold three and left click copy and paste it uh Let's convert them, convert them to parameters and uh, I don't know, let's, let's 
color one and this one color two now i'll explain why i'm doing this add a multiply node hook this one to the color one hook, hook this one to the color two and the base color so i okay i always just uh, have a mixture of a uh, green and blue color it gives us a really nice blended color i I really like I really love it how it how it looks you know it's fun to be honest you can choose any color that you want any color that your heart desires so right now we can see nothing because we forgot to uh hook this one to this you should see the color hey, yeah anymore yeah here yeah. it's more of a greenish yes maybe yeah like that Good. Yeah, okay. Let's wait. Okay. It kinda looks nice to be honest. Okay, so not only uh we we're going to hook it up to the base color, also to the um where did it go? Uh emissive color. Here we go. Okay. So yeah. And uh, basically we're doing it so it can look a bit uh how to say shinier. Or a bit uh, brighter so now we hold s and left click o okay. and let's name it roughness keep it at zero and hook it up to the roughness let's make another one call it metallic and let's go to the uh hold value and f1 for metallic hook it up to metallic Okay, now it's getting more of a shape of a water, if you know what I mean. So, now for the normal map, it seems like a plastic to be honest, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, we copy our, copy and paste our normal map, add a lerp, A to this one, B to this one, and hook it up to, oh, sorry, to our normal section. It seems okay, it's getting better, but it's still it's not moving. So what we have to do is drag it here, search for panner. Here we are, copy and paste it, make another one for this one. Okay, so we need the water to move really really slow. So we're going to just I don't know, really small value. 0 0.02, 0 0.03. The reason that we have two of them is because we want them to move in different direction to feel more natural, natural. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so this one minus point zero two. Did we use zero two? Yeah. Okay, and uh, my, basically the same values but with a minus point zero three. Okay, let's wait. Voila, we're done. Okay. Okay, so, so we go back to our um, main landscape, uh, main material folder. Now what we have to do is to uh, right click, add a landscape layer blend. Name it whatever you want. For example, I'm going to name it M landscape layers. Okay, so let's open it up. So we will see. We should see something like this. All we have to do is Hold S, right click, name it Alpha, hook it to here, finish. Okay, so okay, so now for the uh, actual material, finally. Okay, so name it again, whatever you want. M landscape. I think that's basic enough. Let's open it up. So we'll uh, see. It a basic material uh so we click on here we go to the uh use material attribute we search for material at yeah material attribute layers name it whatever you want you know what i'm i'm not going to name this one let's just keep it as none so we click on this small small thing okay to uh see uh other options we have background and let's add it an element so 
for background we need our cracked soil well which it does make sense it's the background under the water and for here we click here and we'll see our water layer and uh, you can see here blend blend asset right here we click here and we should uh, you should search whatever name you whatever you named your layer blend i think i named it <laughs> yeah here M landscape layers. Click it to here. Apply. Okay, so it seems like a normal, like it, we can see a water right here, but just wait. So we make a material instant out of it. Go to here, and we'll ha we'll go to layer parameters. So here the fun begins. We click on alpha, you remember that alpha we just made, and increase it. Okay, so it, it seems it just became blue, but no, wait. Add it to here. Oh, should go to details, and yeah, add the material to your landscape and wait it to compile. It might take a bit. Oh, okay, it's finished. Oh, okay. And it seems to be really, really uh, small. You can uh, make it bigger by by uh, using a landscape landscape chord layers or something like that I can't remember the node name so yeah here I, as you can see it's uh, the water is moving you can change the color I really chose a very bad color to be honest yeah if you want you can uh, change the depth of the water more water it just completely all you can see is water less water Completely dry right now. So yeah, I recommend something between 0 0.7, 0 0.6. 0 0.7 seems to be amazing, you know, just like the uh, actual thing. You can if you can see uh, the water level as well as the actual uh, the beneath layer. So yeah, here we are. Here's the landscape. So you might ask, what about the mountains? Well. We have two options. We can make a, a separate mountains out of uh, from. We can make separate mountains in Blender and add it here, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can basically just go to the landscape uh, and make make a oh, sorry make make your own uh, make your own uh, mountains. Yeah, I'm sorry for the uh, for that. Okay. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part where I'm going to uh, make mountains with. And the last and the third part is which is going to be the last part, I'll make I'll fix the sky. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, just ask it in the comment section. If you have any um suggestions for next series to what kind of environment to remake just yeah suggest something if you want to and please don't forget to subscribe i see you guys in the next tutorial goodbye